Hello, my name is Josh and I'm here with museum scientist Dr. Natalie Cooper. Um, we have been talking about reindeer eyes and how they change colour throughout the winter. So if you haven't seen that video, then do please go and check it out. Um, and I guess the first question to ask really, Natalie, is what actually is a tapetum lucidum, if I'm saying it correctly? Um, so the tapetum lucidum is just this very thin layer of cells that's around the back of the eye, and it's a reflective layer. And the reason that animals have it is if they're living in kind of dim light or if they are nocturnal, so they only come out at night, then when the light comes into the eye, it reflects back off that tapetum lucidum and it gives it a second chance to kind of hit the, the things that actually allow mm. you to see. Mm, so it's almost like it's sort of seeing twice, I guess, in a weird sort of way. Yeah, so allowing them to sort of really get as much of that image, as much of the light as possible into their eye so they can see things like predators or food or stuff like that. Mm, that's cool. Um, and as I said, you know, we were talking earlier about the reindeer and how that changes colour throughout the year. Um, I was wondering if you could explain to us, um, sort of go over it again, I guess, like what, what happens and like why is that happening? So in the summer, they have this golden yellow kind of colour with the sort of turquoise around the edges. And then in the winter, it looks this kind of deep blue colour. And we think the way that that's happening, which I think is very cool, is that during the winter, where there's basically no light at all in the Arctic, they end up with their pupils really, really big and dilated because they're trying to get as much light into the eye as possible. And that causes pressure to build up in the eye, which sucks fluid out of the tapetum lustum. And in reindeer, these are made out of these little fibres. And when they become dry, rather than being all messy, which is sort of this golden yellow colour, they sort mm -hmm. of organise themselves and that gives you this lovely blue colour. Wow, that's amazing. That's so weird. I mean, we have an example here, don't we, of, um, of a reindeer eye with its um, blue colour. And you can see just at the top. Yeah, so the tapetum lucidum is around the back of the mm -hmm. eye and you can actually see the different colours in there. So you can see this lovely turquoise colour, which is really nice. That's amazing. Um, and obviously, um, reindeer aren't the only one to have a tapetum lucidum. Um, I was wondering if you could explain to us a bit more about eye shine and sort of different animals and how that works. Sure. So um, most animals that are nocturnal, for example, have a tapetum lucidum. Um, things that don't have one are things like us. We don't have one. Um, also, other primates that live in the daylight, uh, squirrels, pigs, they don't have them either. But almost everything else does seem to. Um, some birds have them. Some mm. fishes have them. Mm. They're very common in deep sea fishes. Um, also in reptiles and frogs have them so they're wow. really really common across um, the vertebrate world mm -hmm. uh, but you also get something really similar in spiders uh, which I <laughs> think cool. is very cool that is very cool um, and so yeah so you mentioned eye shine so if you've ever gone out at night with a torch and you've seen sort of lights shining back at you um, it's the eyes of some animal mm -hmm. that's caused by the light hitting the tapetum mm -hmm. lustum and bouncing okay. back out again so that's what eye shine is you mentioned that people don't have it, but obviously I guess some people at home might know that if you take like a photo with a flash, people's eyes um, turn red. Like, what's going on there then? Ah, yeah, so that's not the tapetum lustum. That's actually just the back of your eye, which oh. has loads of blood vessels, mm -hmm. uh, which obviously blood is red. And so that gives you the, the sort of red eye effect. Um, so it's slightly different, but same kind of idea. Cool. Um, you mentioned that lots of different animals have a tapetum lustum, um, like lions and tigers and bears. Um, but some of them come out a different colour, right? So, for example, um, I think you mentioned before that alligators come out pink and um, was it tigers are green. Um, I was wondering if you could sort of explain to us a bit like why and how that happens and what's going on there. Yeah, so we think what's going on is that the tapetum lustum could be made up of slightly different things. So in ruminants, so like reindeers and cows, they have fibres um, which kind of arrange in the back of the tapetum lustum and that's what makes the colour. Uh, but other animals have crystals, so more mm. of a crystalline structure. Uh, so things like um, dogs um, will have a certain kind of crystal, whereas cats have a, a different kind of crystal, which means they glow slightly differently under light. You also get different colours depending on like the angle that the light is coming mm -hmm. into the eye. So yeah, with tigers, with cats in general, you tend to see kind of a green eye shine, whereas dogs are more likely to be kind of white or yellow eye shine instead. Um, but yeah, my favourite one is probably alligators, which can come out as an iridescent pink, I mean, which exciting. is very, very cool. <laughs> that's very cool. You obviously mentioned that it wasn't just sort of land animals that have um, the tapetum lucidum, there's also fish and marine mammals. Um, and so I was going to ask, like, you know, first of all, what is this? <laughs> and why have you brought it with you? 
Uh, so I thought it would be kind of fun just to show the range of different sizes of eyeballs that mm -hmm. we get in um, the animal kingdom. So of course the biggest ones are going to be things like giant squid. I didn't have access to those, so I brought some humpback whale oh, um, eyeballs instead. And humpback whales also have tapetum lustum, uh, cool. which again we think is because in the deep sea where they're if they're diving down to, to try and get different amounts of food, then they're likely to need to be able to see in these really dim mm. low light levels as well. So so they also have one. That's really cool. So does that mean that, I guess, technically, if you were shining a torch in the ocean, you would be able to see their eye shine? I guess so. I, I don't know if anyone's been brave enough to get that close to a humpback whale and shine a light in its <laughs> eye, but I would imagine that would work. Um, and then the other thing I brought along was some cat's eyes, because why not? Um, and this is a really nice dissection of some cat's eyes, so you can see um, the tapetum lustum, which is kind of flapping around at the back oh, yeah, okay. um, here on this, this cat. And you can see it's a very different colour to the one we had a look mm -hmm. at earlier that was the reindeer. Mm -hmm. um, and so you know, the other really cool thing, so part of the reason for bringing cat's eyes is you might have heard of cat's eyes on the roads, yeah. which um, send the light back to you when you're driving in the dark. Mm -hmm. And that's using exactly the same kind of idea. And it's actually cool. the cat eye shine that inspired the making of those which is why they're called cat's eyes uh, it's very cool and makes very you know makes a lot of sense i mean you can really see it can't you it's sort of almost like a sort of tissue paper i guess yeah yeah it's a very very thin layer um that is genuinely amazing um thank you so much natalie for your time and bringing these specimens green-eyed tigers and pink-eyed alligators that's amazing what's the weirdest animal eye color you've ever seen comment below and if you liked what you've just seen and would like to get more natural history content, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the Natural History Museum's YouTube channel.